I love potatoes. This family loves potatoes. This is my kitchen, this is your kitchen, and then I am gonna show you how we make patatas bravas. Follow me. We're gonna take two potatoes. We took the skin off. Now we are going to make them into nice little squares. So I forgot, I forgot what I was gonna do. I need to cut them in big chunks. And I cut them actually in smaller ones. So this is, I'm gonna make this a better cut. So I cut this in half, and then I'm gonna cut these halves into larger chunks, like that. See, chunk, chunk, chunk. So those are three big chunks. That's what you're looking for. Now I'm gonna show you another way of cutting them with this one, where I make them this potato into a square on the inside. I cut off the sides like this, and then I turn this on the side. Then I cut the sides off of this one. See, kind of how it's a square? Then I'm gonna cut the tips off right there. One here, and then one here. And then this is how you would make like potato french fries. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make nice big chunks and squares out of this potato. Check it out. Look, cut it in half, and then I cut them in fourths. Cut it lengthwise, and then I cut it in fourths. Look at these nice big chunks. These are what I'm looking for. Now I fill up my pot with water. And inside my water, I'm gonna add salt and baking soda. So now with the water about to boil, we're gonna make sure we put salt in the water. That's two pinches at least. Yeah, you know what? Let's do three pinches. That's like three tables, uh, three teaspoons. A pinch is about a teaspoon. One teaspoon. Add them to the boiling water and you're gonna wait about a minute and a half, two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pour out the water. Keeping our potatoes. We're gonna add our potatoes into a bowl. And we're gonna add some salt. We're gonna add some salt. One pinch, two pinches, and then we're gonna add some pepper. Now the chili pepper makes the difference between patatas bravas and just great seasoned potatoes. Great seasoned potatoes is just salt and pepper. You maybe put some oregano to make it some more Italian sauce uh, seasonings, but chili pepper and paprika will make this patatas bravas. We're gonna have to toss it like this. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna mix up the salt and the chili pepper on these potatoes, and it's gonna beat the potatoes up a little bit. It's gonna give them crusty edges. Just watch and see. Now we're gonna set our oven to bake at 425. You know what, we don't need it at 425. We need it 350 for 15, 16 minutes. Very good, while the oven is warming, just add a drizzle of your oil on your patatas and get them ready to put in the oven. 350 degrees for about five, 10 minutes. All right, I took them out at five minutes and I am testing and see how they are doing. They look great, but I think we need to put in a little bit more so that they can crisp up. All right, I put them in there for 12 minutes, not just five, 12 minutes and look at what it looks like. It's delicious and it has a I don't know if you can hear that, it's a crispy. With your patatas bravas, we're gonna add a little bit of some creamy aioli. Ooh, jalapeno aioli. I'll put a description in the comments or maybe a recipe later. Some green onions, some red peppers, and it's ready to eat. Salute. Mm. Mmm, so, very good, delicious, great potato -y flavor. I didn't fry these. Traditionally, they're fried. I didn't fry them. I put them in the oven. I baked them at 350 degrees for just about, what, 30 minutes? So, I, I turned them. I, I rolled them as they cooked. I brought them out every five minutes, turned them, and it got a crispy exterior, which gives it the great flavor and the crispy outside so delicious mm. so potatoey french fries but 
not fried. How do you like them apples? And then this jalapeno aioli that I have on it really brings out the flavor. Again, of the potato, of the chili powder that I added to it when I brought it out of the, the boiling stage. I just can't have enough of these. These are great for Super Bowl, watching TV, watching a movie. If you don't want to have popcorn, this is what you need. Have these beside your french fry, your, uh, your hamburgers. Mm, you're gonna want more. I made two potatoes worth. I would definitely do, and the two potatoes is worth for two people. I may do three or four potatoes next time because they're so good, so delicious. The chili pepper gives it a chili flavoring, flavoring to it, but it's not spicy. It's just, it just has that chili, that smoked flavor to it. Um, mm. that is so good. And believe it or not, I have not put any more salt than the salt that I already put onto it, which was two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of salt on these potatoes. That was right after the boiling phase. I hope you like this recipe. Just subscribe, give me a thumbs up, a, a, a Yoli thumbs up, and watch all my videos. Tell me what you think. If you try this recipe, please tell me what you think about it. If you don't try these recipes, well, that's just on you, man. I can tell you what, this is a winner winner. Come back.